Hurricane Barrow left a nightmarish reality for so many in our area. This is the first house I've ever bought by myself, and I'm, I'm 50 years old. This is for me and my daughters. Including for single mother Megan Wyke. I worked really hard to get this house, and to see it destroyed like that in a matter of seconds, it's, I can't even describe how devastating it is. Wyke tells me the powerful storm brought a large pine tree from a neighboring lot crashing through her home. I jumped up out of the bed and hugged that wall, literally hugged the wall, and everything came crashing down. <sighs> yeah. She's grateful to be alive and grateful her daughters weren't home when it happened. What she's not happy about is this. She says a closer look at the tree shows it was rotten, and she claims to have found proof of a termite infestation. See all the holes? Yep. What I would like to do is hold this guy responsible for neglecting a tree that was clearly rotten. That devastated two families' lives. Today, I spoke to John Black of the Daily and Black Law Firm for answers. He tells me normally in the state of Texas, if a tree from a neighbor's lot falls into your home during a natural disaster, you're responsible. That is except for? In situations where you think your neighbor did something wrong or failed to do something wrong, which we just call negligence, in those instances, it may be your neighbor's fault, at least partly. In terms of tracking down the person behind the company that owns the lot, Black recommends heading to the Secretary of State's website, where you can find the registered agent for any LLC operating in the state. That's the person that the company, the LLC, is designated as that person that is to receive notices.